This lady, I shall say, has quite a vocabulary. <laughs> but I don't disagree with anything she's saying. And she's actually destroying Kamala Harris and her run for presidency with hard facts embellished with some strong words. <laughs> you tell it, girl. Have a listen to this. I saw Kamala today on X and she was expressing the fact that she could cook some collard greens in a bathtub. We don't give a fuck about you cooking no goddamn collard greens in no motherfucking bathtub, Kamala. What we are concerned about is people. When Joe was in office, he made you the border czar. You had one fucking job and one fucking job only. You couldn't even do that shit. You said, oh, uh, we watched you on the show when you told that man. He said, have you been to the border? Her quote, quote her. She said, no, and I haven't been to Europe neither. Well, motherfucker, you ain't working for no goddamn Europe. You working for us, we the people right here in the United motherfucking States of a goddamn America. So you need to go close that motherfucking border and stop letting all these illegal people in. Who in the fuck let all them people into the White House that are there burning flags and protesting and all that shit? That shit is ridiculous. We never seen that type of stuff take place here in America. We never seen that type of shit. But one thing about it, okay, if y'all want to do that, take that shit to your motherfucking country. Now, she nailed it there, didn't she? It was a very colourful way of saying it, but she's very true. You had one job, Harris, and that was to get control of the border. And all you did was laugh about it. Now, I actually think that the love affair is actually dying when it comes to the Democrats. Put a person of colour, preferably a female, in the VP job, and it automatically guarantees, apparently, according to Joe, guarantees that black people will vote for Democrat. Well, it seems that love affair is over, doesn't it, everyone? She's not going to be voting for Democrat. She's not going to be voting for Harris. And she's definitely not going to be voting for people that lie.